Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Frank Malarsic, and in this video we're actually going to be talking about how to run your Python scripts um, basically from anywhere at any time that you want and you don't have to have any sort of internet connection or uh, electricity or anything like that and best of all it's free. So I was, before this, I had some scripts I was using to update some data in my spreadsheets that I was using to track my dividend portfolio and the problem I was having is that uh, basically I had these set up to run with the task scheduler on my Windows computer and this is working well for the most part but uh, the problem is that it does not work if the computer is not turned on or if you don't have Wi-Fi or something like that so I was kind of looking for a solution where I could basically run this on a server essentially some that is hosted somewhere else um, so that's basically the solution I found and this solution is actually free uh, just because of how it's set up so normally you'd have to pay for a server but this is free the way I'm doing it so that's what we're going to be talking about today. If you do enjoy these kind of videos, make sure to like the video to show me that this is the kind of videos you want to see in the future. And also subscribe if you want to support the channel and see some other videos in the future as well. So we're actually going to be using a website called REPL.IT. And this is basically a website you can use. Uh, it's basically an integrated development environment but it's not a program that you have to download onto your computer, it's just a website you use uh, to run code in basically any language um, it's set up for. So I've used this in the past for other things, um, just maybe while I was at school or actually in high school, uh, we had Chromebooks that they gave us and you couldn't like download any software onto them so you, we would use that uh, website to be able to do some coding and stuff like that. Uh, so me and my friends would do that. Um, so I've done some work with this website in the past, but I've never used it for this kind of stuff. And I actually saw a video from Free Code Camp, which I'll leave a link to in the description. He was basically showing how to build a Discord bot uh, with this method in this website. And it's the same idea that it would just be running constantly forever. Um, and that's what you want with a Discord bot as well. So basically what it does is I'm just using the... Uh, REPL.IT website and putting all my code in there to update my script and then I'm also putting some code in there that's creating a server and it is running basically forever that code that I created on that server and REPL just allows you to create a server I guess uh, obviously it's not going to be a super high quality server but they let you do that for free and there are some other problems that arise but uh, there's another free solution down the road to solve those that I'm going to talk about as well. Alright, so right now we're just looking at REPL and as you can see over here on the left side, these are my files that I have in this uh, package, I guess, or uh, file basically. So this one right here is just called keep underscore alive and this is the one that basically creates the server um, and then runs it forever, basically. So I'm using Flask to make the server so this right here is basic code to create a server and then um, I'm also using th threading and a thread and this allows me to uh, continue having the server running but also have my other Python code running at the same time so a thread basically just allows you to do two things at once um, so I'm making this function keep alive and then I'm starting this thread here so that this keep alive file will just run forever while my main file is running. So I have my main file and I'm um, importing the keep alive function into it. And then this is mostly uh, basically the same stuff I have in my regular script. Um, so here all this stuff down here right here is just like authorizing my script to import into my Google spreadsheet. And then down here this stuff is um, just getting all the data and inputting it in one uh, piece at a time, right? Which I've showed in previous videos before. And then right before I start this uh, while loop, this while loop basically is the part that runs forever. So I'm going to put all my data in and then just have it run again, basically. So before I start that while loop, I'll do the keep alive function. And that basically just allow starts my server up and continues that to keep running forever. So once I get into this while loop, I just say while true, which basically means it's gonna run infinitely long. Um, and then 
this is all my code to get my data into my spreadsheet, which is the dividend date, the X dividend date. I have the dividend amount that I'm getting, getting the beta and also the three year dividend CAGR. Um, and then also at the bottom here, I added this new part, which puts a basically a timestamp into my spreadsheet so I can see when it was last updated, which is pretty nice just to verify that it's working. And then at the very end here, I have time.sleep, uh, 259,000 seconds basically, and that's basically three days. So I decided I'll just have it update every three days. So after this uh, updates all this information, it's gonna basically wait three days and then update it again. Um, so if we, oh, and also this Sheets API key file here, that's just the file that you have to use with Gspread to uh, be able to be authorized. So I had to include that here because when you're authorizing your script, you have to use that right about here. So that's what that is, that's that third file. Um, so right here, just going into my portfolio spreadsheet, if it will load, there you go. Uh, so here's my spreadsheet and then right here I added this little thing it says last updated and then it will um, put a timestamp in there. So it was last updated at 1230 on January 14th, which was fairly recently, um, just a few hours ago. But the problem with this is that REPL, um, it only keeps your server up for about an hour if there's no activity. So since I'm waiting a few days uh, each time I update this information, if I just let this run like it's running now, it would just uh, eventually go down after about an hour. So what I have is there's this free service called Uptime Robot. And basically what this does is it pings your site every five minutes and you can, basically this is just checking that your site is active um, or your server is active. It's basically the same thing. Um, and this is free. And during that pinging, it makes REPL think that your server um, is getting some activity on it so then it doesn't shut the server down basically so I'll show you how this works basically if you want to create a new account you just register uh, but I'm just gonna log in and this is completely free so um, that's a great thing about it as well so just log in so this is just my dashboard here and so basically it's just showing I have two monitors which are shown over here on the left side one of them is for me and one of them is for my brother because I'm helping him with some of his stuff on his portfolio as well so this basically just shows the response time um, of the ping I guess so it's some milliseconds and you can use that for other things if you really care about exactly how precise your site is but it's not really a big deal in my case and if I try to move this a little bit you can see that um, it shows you like last 24 hours last seven days last 30 days how much it's been up so basically this has been up for 137 hours which is basically when I started this a few days ago. Um, so I've been just working on it the last few days and just making sure it's all good. Um, and then now I'm making this video on it to show you guys. And the one thing I did forget to mention is when you go to create a new monitor you have to input this URL. So in REPL at the very top here this is basically showing you the website uh, per se that you're creating. And so you just copy this URL here. Um, and then when you go to add, a, if you go add a new monitor, um, it'll bring this up and then let me try to move this a little bit, sorry. Um, it'll bring this up and then you just select HTTPS and then put in a name and then you just put this URL in here. Um, and you have to delete this HTTPS thing, but you just put that URL in there um, and you can set it to do like more than five minutes, but there's really no point. You might as well do it um, as five minutes. And if you want to pay for it, you can have it do more often than five minutes, but five minutes is fine. And then you can also set an alert. Um, so if your site does go down, then it will email you and tell you that. So that's how you create a new monitor. So, so far this has just worked great for me um, as a great way to run my scripts, uh, basically with no internet, um, no electricity needed for my computer. I don't have to have my computer on and I don't have to pay for it at all, which is uh, pretty great because normally uh, if you wanted to do this, you'd have to like buy a server and then uh, write this code and basically run it on a real server that you bought. But in this case, you're just um, using a small part of REPL's servers and apparently um, most people are using 
such a small part of it that they are allowed to offer that for free. So I can't guarantee that they're going to keep that option free forever, but um, at the moment uh, it is working and it's free, so that is awesome that we can use that. And also uh, utilizing Uptime Robot in conjunction with that makes it work pretty much perfectly in my opinion. Now obviously if you're doing something like professional um, or like for an actual company or something like that this probably isn't going to be the ideal solution but you're probably going to have a little bit of funds to do that so this is just a free option i think which is pretty awesome so i hope you guys did enjoy the video um, remember like the video to show you appreciated it and i'll see you in the next one